All right, well, looks like you are all set. I see your screen. Okay, great. Can I uh, get a quick audio and video check? Could everybody just type in Y or type in yes? I want to make sure that everybody can see and hear me uh, before we get started here. Uh, so I want to make sure that the audio is working. Uh, there we go. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you, Lauren, Oliver, Keith, Larry. Great. I appreciate that. So let's go ahead. Uh, let's get started. Uh, as Renee mentioned, my name is William Gallagher. I am from Market Traders Institute. I am going to take you through the process today of how you can utilize MTI's charting software to trade what's called the London Daybreak strategy. I'll uh, show you how to start generating profits in the Forex market starting today. Uh, before we get started, because I am going to be going into the market, I am actually going to be pulling up a current trade opportunity that I'm looking at. I'm going to teach you a trading strategy here today, but I just want to explain to everybody here that everything I'm going to show you here today, do not take this as investment advice. Uh, there are, there's no such thing as an undefeated season with trading. You might get trade losses as you go, but the ideal is to keep your profits high, have minimal losses as you're going along. Now, we do recommend you go through our entire education. You learn how to trade uh, this trading strategy in its entirety as an educated and knowledgeable trader. So once again, I'm going to show you some trouble trading and uh, some trade examples here. Uh, but when the decision to make a specific trade, uh, that is yours to make and yours alone. So let's go ahead, let's get started. A little bit about me, as Renee said, I have been trading the investment market since 1998. I have worked for several different financial companies and firms, and I also did help start, launch, and build an entirely new financial services company from the ground floor up. Now, I am also a full-time active trader, and everything I'm showing you here today about the Forex market, I actually have learned from Market Traders Institute because I'm actually a student of Market Traders Institute as well. Now, uh, one of my colleagues, uh, Joe Cavallero, was up here earlier. Some of you probably already know who Market Traders Institute is. Uh, for those of you who don't, I'll give you a quick, quick Cliff Notes version of who we are. Uh, Market Traders Institute was founded in 1994. Uh, we celebrated what our 20 was about 22nd uh, anniversary this month here. Uh, so we've been doing this for about 22 years. Uh, this building on your screen here. This is actually our building. We actually just moved into a brand new state-of-the-art trading and training facility back in, I believe, April. Uh, you're welcome to come to our facility, and get trained live in person. Uh, those of you that want to go through a full education, we do have students that come to our building on a daily basis, and they actually can get trained live in person. But uh, one of the things I want to know is we are getting a little bit of press here. As you can see here, the bottom right-hand corner of my screen, uh, Inc. Magazine. Not only last year, 2015, uh, Market Traders Institute was ranked on their Inc. 5000 list of fastest growing private companies. Uh, this year, we haven't got the letter in yet, I don't think, but we were ranked 592. So uh, we've gone up a little bit here from 1180 to 592 for 2016. Now, I haven't seen the letter we did receive from, Mar from Inc. Magazine. We're mentioned in the same breath as Under Armour, Microsoft, GoPro. So uh, the only reason to stay on this list is we keep helping our students and our team get results in this market. Uh, one more quick thing here before we jump into the market. Uh, one of the things I explained to you is that not only does Market Traders Institute have some of the best trading ex facilities and uh, ex expertise here, but we also have some of the best uh, trading experts in the market. Uh, one of those experts, his name is Joshua Martinez. Uh, some of you may have heard him before. Uh, he's one of our product experts here. He has trained thousands of Forex investors. Uh, he did take an initial deposit of $500, generated over $39,000 of profit from it. Uh, he's a published author, international speaker. Uh, the reason I'm talking about Josh is because he is the gentleman that actually came up with the trading strategy I'm going to show you here today. And ultimately, I'm going to kind of walk you through and kind of give you an overview of how this strategy works, but I'm going to show you how I can actually have Josh teach you and show you exactly how to do this. Now, why should you be listening to Josh? Uh, this is his trading account for this year. In fact, uh, this is on MyFX book. Uh, if you want to go on here, it's under Joshua Martinez, under uh, Trading Systems. Uh, this year alone, he's up about 26%. He's up about 20, uh, 22, uh, almost 23,000 pips uh, so far captured this year. Now, I know for those of you that are brand new to the Forex market, you don't know what a pip is. I'm going to explain what that means here in just a second. But this is all verified uh, on my FX Book Pro. I uh, came directly from their website. So let's go ahead. Let's get started. Uh, what I want to do is before we jump into this here, what I want to do is I want to get an idea of everybody's Forex trading experience here. So uh, if everybody just be so kind, uh, if you can quickly look at the screen here, if you are brand new to the Forex market,
market, uh, please type the number one in. That's going to let me know you're brand new. You have no experience whatsoever in the Forex market. Now, if you do have a little bit of experience, maybe you've been to a workshop or two, uh, maybe you've tried trading a demo account or something like that, uh, go ahead and type in number two. Uh, number three is for those of you that are actual live Forex traders. You're experienced traders and you do experience trading in this market. So yeah, pretty much as I, as I expected here, yeah, most of you, a lot of number ones. We did get a couple number twos. I don't see uh, nobody typed in number three, so I'm assuming that most of you here are pretty much brand new to the Forex market. So uh, what I want to do is again, set some expectations of what we're going to be going over here over the next 45 minutes. Uh, I know a lot of you are brand new. Don't worry. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to start off. I'm going to take a minute or so, get you up to speed on the Forex market basics. I let you understand what we do in this market. I'm going to take you into our charting software here, do some analysis here, show you how we actually do that here. i also show you how we have some proprietary automated trading tools that's going to do a lot of this for us automatically, quickly, and accurately. Uh, like I said, I do have a current trade opportunity that I'm looking at right now. I'll show you how I came up with that opportunity, kind of give you an idea of what I'm looking at in the market, and then we'll jump in and I'll show you how the London Day Bank trading strategy works. Uh, before the end of the webinar, I kind of call this my fork starter strategy because I'm going to get you up to speed, teach you some basics on analysis, show you how to use our charting software, teach you a trading strategy, but also show you how to set up a demo trading account so you can actually start doing this live. Plus, everything I'm showing you here today, you can and actually try out for free here today. I'm going to show you how you can take the charting software. I'm also going to show you how you can learn all how to do all this, uh, the, uh, the London Daybreak Trading Strategy, and some free bonuses I'm going to give to you here today uh, just for trying this out. So let's go ahead. Let's take a quick minute or two to get you up to speed. Uh, looks like a lot of you are brand new. Let me just quickly explain to you what we're going to be going over here. Uh, I'm going to start by explaining to you what you're doing when you're trading Forex currencies. Uh, once again, for those of you who don't know what a PIP is, get you up to speed, explain to you what a PIP is and why you want them. Uh, but more importantly, how you can actually start right now as far as profiting in the Forex market. So let's go ahead. Uh, for those of you that are not familiar with the Forex market, it is the largest financial market with almost limitless amounts of liquidity. Uh, there's over $5 trillion that is daily traded in this market. So ton of potential in this market just to get a fraction of a fraction of that. Now, uh, there is also a very flexible market. This is going to come into play here with the London Daybreak trading strategy. Uh, in the Forex market, there's three major trading sessions that happen in the Forex market. You have the Asian trading session, you have the London trading session, and you have the New York, the North American trading session. Uh, these sessions, they overlap. So what that means, you can actually trade the Forex market 24 hours a day uh, from 5 o'clock p.m. on uh, Sunday night to 5 o'clock p.m. on Friday evening here. So uh, plenty of opportunity to trade here, unlike the stock market. Now, uh, what we're trying to do in the Forex market is we're trying to trade one country's currency against another. Uh, this chart you see on my screen right here, if you look in the upper left-hand corner up here, you can see that this is the Great British Pound, GBP, US dollar, USD. So essentially what we're doing on this chart here, oops, sorry about that, is we're trading the Great British Pound versus the US dollar, in this case here, as the Great British Pound gains in value over the US dollar, the market's going up, and then when the US dollar takes over and starts gaining in value, the market starts going down. Uh, these little rectangles you see on your screen, these are called Japanese candlesticks. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail to explain to you what Japanese candlesticks are, but what they do is they measure the time frame on this chart, what the market has done in a certain time frame. So uh, if you were to look in the upper left-hand corner of my screen right here next to the Great British Pound US dollar currency pair, you can see that this is a one-hour time frame. So what that means, each one of these candles represents what the market has done in one hour. Now, for simplicity's sake here, all you really need to know is that the white candlesticks mean that the market went up during that time period, and the dark blue ones mean that the market is going down. Now, what we're going to be looking for these Japanese candlesticks, oh, let me see if I can quickly advance this here. Uh, what we're looking here is these candlesticks, just as I think as uh, Rick was explaining here, I think you might have touched on this here, uh, these candlesticks form what are called candlestick formations. These candlestick formations are kind of like the sign language of the, language of the market, kind of helping the trader, a little, give them a little bit of story to kind of give an idea of where the market's going. Uh, the bottom left-hand corner of my screen right here, you can see this is what's called a morning star candlestick formation. Uh, all this simply means is to let the trader know to look and say, hey, look for this market, do you turn? and go upward in a bullish movement. Top of my screen is what's called an evening star candlestick formation. This is telling the trader to look for the market to U-turn and go downward in a bearish movement here. So we kind of use these to help us determine direction in this market. And once again, as part of our full education, we'll teach you how to identify uh, several of these different trading, the most important uh, uh, candlestick formations here. Uh, one of the things I want to point out before we jump into this here is that the Forex market, it allows you to focus. 
I like the stock market. There's over 40,000 different stocks you can watch and trade. In the forex market, there's only about 60 different currency pairs to trade. So it very narrows it down quite a bit. Uh, the neat thing about this, though, is that with Market Traders Institute, because we've been doing this for 22 years, uh, we can actually show you which ones to pay the most attention to. In fact, I focus on about 18 different currency pairs. Uh, the chief, uh, our owner of our company, focuses on about 21. So there's about 21, 24 or so different currency pairs that we'll actually show you which ones they'll look at. Plus, we'll also teach you the sh secrets of how to trade them. Now, with my trading strategy I'm going to show you here today, and we're going to focus on six of them. I'll get to that here in just a second. Uh, one more quick thing we need to learn before we jump into the market. You need to know what a PIP is. Uh, P-I-P, PIP. It stands for Price Interest Point. It's an acronym. Uh, if we were looking for a unit of measure that's smaller than a penny, it would be the equivalent to what's called a PIP. Now, the simplest way to explain this here, uh, most of you in the room probably already understand that there are 100 pennies in a U.S. dollar. So a penny, it represents one one-hundredth of a U.S. dollar. If we were looking for that unit of measure smaller than a penny, we'd be looking at what's called a PIP. Just as there are 100 pennies in a U.S. dollar, there are 100 pips in a U.S. penny. So on this number right here, the first two decimal points are the pennies. Uh, the second two here are the pips. And the individual pips are represented by that number, uh, the fourth decimal point right there. So uh, you have all pretty much all the basics. Let me go ahead and let me walk you through a basic forage transaction right now. Uh, pretty much to simplify it. If you've been to uh, one of these kiosks here, most of you probably recognize one of these kiosks. Uh, very simply, uh, if we were say we were going from the United States to Canada, we would want to go to one of these kiosks and exchange our U.S. dollars for Canadian dollars. So uh, let me walk you through and explain to you how this actually works on a basic level uh, so you get an idea of how this, uh, on a very basic level, we'll go in the charts and show you how I actually uh, do this live in the market. Uh, so let's just say that in the morning we're going from the United States to Canada, uh, the exchange right here, one U.S. dollar equals 1.32 Canadian dollars. So very simply here, our one U.S. dollar equals 1.32 Canadian dollars. Uh, so if we had 1,000 U.S. dollars, that means we would get back 1,320 Canadian dollars. So we just did our first uh, for our Forex transaction here. We exchanged our U.S. dollars for Canadian dollars right there. Now let's just say that we spent the whole day in Canada, came back, and at the end of the day, let's say we didn't spend any of those Canadian dollars. So in the morning, our U.S. dollar Canadian dollar exchange rate was 1.32. Uh, let's just say we came back in the evening now, it's 1.33. So what this means is that our 1,000 U.S. dollars are now worth 1,330 Canadian dollars. So we would then get back and exchange 1,010 U.S. dollars here. Now, as I explained to you in the Forex market, that one penny movement right there, it would be the equivalent to what's called 100 pips. Remember, one penny is equal to 100 pips. Now, I explained to you what those 100 pips would be worth. We need to take into account for leverage. Uh, the forex market is a leveraged market. Uh, very simply here, your broker is going to provide you leverage. This will allow you to place the trade and to generate a leveraged return on the pips here. Now, uh, you might want to take some notes on this for those of you not familiar with how this works. In the forex market, uh, there's three major lot sizes. We trade in lots, uh, which is called a micro lot. A micro lot, it's about a $20 investment from your trading account. With each pip that we capture, is going to be worth 10 cents. So those 100 pips I just showed you there with a micro lot, it would be worth about $10. Uh, we're trading with a mini lot account. A mini lot account, it's about a $200 investment per trade from your trading account. Uh, each pip is now worth $1. So those 100 pips would now be worth $100. Now we have what's called a standard lot. Standard lot is the standard by which most traders strive to achieve in this market. Uh, a standard lot is about a $2,000 investment from your trading account. Uh, each pip that you capture would now be worth $10. So those 100 pips, uh, that would now be worth about $1,000. Now, for most of you here in the room today, if you're brand new to the Forex market, probably what you're going to do is you're going to start off trading with a demo account first. Get up to speed. Get yourself comfortable trading in this market, and then when you open up an account, you're probably going to start trading with a micro lot. We refer to this as crawling. Probably what you do is you'll start off crawling. You'll build up your account, your confidence level, until you get to the point where you start trading a mini lot account. We refer to this as walking. And eventually, once you get comfortable trading a mini lot account, you'll then want to start trading a standard lot. So what we'll do is we'll take you from walking, I'm sorry, from crawling to walking and then running. That's how we kind of refer to it here uh, as we're going through here. I'm going to show you how to actually set up a demo account so you can actually get started on that first step here today. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm also going to teach you what's called the London Breakout Trading Strategy. I'm going to get to that here in a second. Uh, with the London Breakout Trading Strategy, we're going to be focusing on these six currency pairs here. 
I'm going to go into the market and explain each one of them. They're the Great British Pound Canadian Dollar, Great British Pound US Dollar, the Great British Pound Japanese Yen, uh, Great British Pound Swiss Franc, Great British Pound New Zealand Dollar, the Kiwi, and the Great British Pound Australian Dollar, the Aussie. These are six currency pairs we're going to be focusing on on this uh, London, break, uh, London Day Breakout strategy here. Now, our goal is to get on to first base, simply getting on first base and capturing 50 pips per day per currency pair. I'm going to go into that market right now, teach you and show you how to actually do that here. And then for those of you that want to learn, I'm actually going to show you how Josh will actually teach you and show you in his live video lessons how to actually do this here. So let's get you up to speed. Let's go ahead and let's pull up our charts right now. And let me actually walk you through here. Let's do some basic analysis in the market, and then I'll actually teach you that trading strategy here. So at least you walk away knowing a little, little bit of basic analysis in the market, and we'll give you a quick trading strategy that you can actually start utilizing tonight uh, during that London session here. So uh, this is actually a trade setup that I'm looking at right now. This is on the uh, Great British Pound Australian dollar right now on the two-hour time frame. Now, I'm going to go and walk you through the process of how I got to this point here, but what I'm looking for is I'm looking for the Great British Pound Australian dollar to rise up, probably come up right here, bounce off this trend line, and start going down. So what I'm going to be looking for is a buying opportunity to buy into the market up to right here, and then where it comes up to this point here, I'm going to be looking for that U-turn and look for it to go down. I'm going to sell the market on this here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to get you to the point, explain to you how I got to the point on this here. So let me delete all this. Let's back this up here a little bit here. Let's back this up here, and we'll do some basic analysis for those of you that are brand new uh, to this market. Now, uh, pretty much the very basics of what you're going to need to know as far as trading in this market, you need to know number one. These are three things that you're going to need to know. Number one, where is the market going? Is it going up or is it going down? Number two, you're going to need to know where and why to get in. And you're going to need to know number three, where and why to get out. So let's do some quick basic analysis here. We'll show you exactly how to quickly find this here. And then we'll go into that London breakout trading strategy that's going to do all this very quickly for us here. So uh, first I'm going to show everybody here. I'm not sure if anybody else has showed you this here today. Uh, we utilize what's called trend lines. Draw us out for you. Trend. Oop. We utilize what's called a trend line. Just like this here. Now, if I were to come in here, let's just draw a basic trend line. Oops, sorry about that. If we were to come in here, draw a basic trend line coming down just like that. When we're below this trend line, in fact, let me zoom in here just a little bit. When we're below this trend line, we're in what's called the sell zone. We're going to be looking to sell the market until eventually the market does, in fact, break above this trend line. Then we'd be looking to buy in this market here. So very simply, utilizing trend lines, very, very simple trading strategy here, we have now bounced back into what's called the buy zone. So we're going to be looking to now take buying opportunities in the market. Now let me zoom in here a little bit more. Let me zoom in here just a little bit more here. So we can utilize trend lines to help us determine where the market's going. So right now we are looking for a buying opportunity in this market. Uh, what I want to do now is let's zoom in here just like this. Just like that. So we're in the buy zone looking for a buying opportunity. Uh, let me quickly explain to you one thing we learned in this market. What we have found in fact, let me move this down just a little bit. I apologize. I'm using a different monitor here today, my friend. So let's go ahead and delete some of this. Uh, what we have found is that the market tends to move in waves. We found it tends to move in a wave-like pattern just like this. When it's going up, it's going to move in a wave-like pattern like this. And then when it's going down, we're going to be looking for that same pattern as it's going down. Now, what we have found is that market tends to move in what we refer to as an A. B, C, and a D pattern. And same thing happens when the market's going down. We're looking for that A, B, C, and D pattern here. Now, to show you how to take advantage of these wave movements, we have a tool. We have a tool that's called the Fibonacci tool. Now, Fibonacci's help us to take advantage of these wave moves. Based on where the market's been, it's going to help us to predict where the market's going here. Now, what we're looking for is to find initially this A to B boundary here. Now, what we have found is that in between this A and B boundary, there's a high probability of a pullback. And what we're going to do is we're going to utilize trend lines, we're going to utilize support and resistance, we're going to utilize uh, those candlestick formations to help us predict 
where this C point is going to be. And then if we buy into the market after that U-turn, that C U-turn, the Fibonacci is going to help us to predict where the market's going. So if I come in here, I'm going to use this example right here. If I spread this Fibonacci tool just like that, as you can see here, the market came down. Let's say the market forms its C point right here. We have that educated opinion. We believe the market's going to U-turn. And let's say we buy in the market after that U-turn. Well, at this case right now, the market pulled back to one of these red lines right here. These lines in between the A and B boundaries, these are called retracement lines uh, because what we found is the market, it retraces. It pulls back and retraces in between its A and B boundary. If it pulls back to one of these red retracement lines or above and we buy in the market, we're going to be looking for our corresponding D point at the red extension. So what we've done with our Fibonacci is we color coordinated them. Red goes to red, blue goes to blue, and green goes to green. So if our C point was at the blue retracement level, we'd be looking to get out of that trade Oops, at our D level right there. Blue goes to blue. And of course, green goes to green. Now we can do the exact same thing when the market's going up as it's going down. For those of you that don't understand that concept, it's called shorting the markets. We can teach you how to do that as well. So let's go ahead, let's clean all this up here. And what we determined is that the market came down here, broke our trend line. So what we'd be looking for is that A to B boundary. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in right now. And this is all pretty basic because we're going to come in here. I just want to teach you some basic analysis here that you can play around with when you actually get these charts in your hands here tonight. But what we've now found is right here, this would be our A point. It's called a proper low because it has two candles to the left, to the right, which are higher than our candlestick wick low. And then this candlestick right here is going to be our proper high, because that candlestick wick right there, it has two candles to the left, to the right, which are lower than that here. Now, when we determine that A to B boundary, just like this here, A to B, we can now come in here, we can spread that Fibonacci tool from the A to the B just like that. Now, like I said, in between the A and B boundary, we're looking for a high probability of a pullback. Now, watch what happens here. The market pulls back right here to my red retracement level. And let's see here, right there, bam. It gives me this candlestick formation right here. Now, I told you these candlestick formations kind of the sign language of the market. This one right here is called an engulfing bullish candlestick. Sign language of the market, give me that indication to look for this market to U-turn and go up. Now, the same thing that happened here we will draw our what's called a counter trend line just like this. The market came up and broke our counter trend line as well. So we have two different indicators right here. Now, uh, for those of you wondering, I got a couple of you asking what's this down here at the bottom? This is called our stochastics. Uh, let me type that out for everybody here. It's our stochastic RSI. This is another thing you want to keep an eye on. Uh, the stochastic RSI, to basically explain how this works, just draw two quick lines here for you. And then above this red line is when the market is overbought. Down here is when the market's oversold. So when we're above this line up here, when it's over, oops, sorry about that. Let me change the color of this. Let's just say that The market's coming up just like this. When it comes up into this area, the market's overbought, so we're going to be looking to sell the market. When the market's coming down into this zone right here, it's been oversold, so we're looking to buy. So as you can see right here, the market has pulled back into the oversold zone, another indicator. So we have three different indicators right here looking at this as a good opportunity to buy into the market. So if we were to buy into the market right here at this uh, red retracement level, we'd be looking to get out of the market right there. Remember, red goes to red. So watch what happens here. The market eventually does come up. And let me just extend this over just a little bit. And then bam, we would have got out of that trade. In this case right here, if we would have bought into the market at the close of this candlestick and we got out right about there. So that's about 200 and three pips on that move. Now, the reason I'm showing you all this, I know those of you that get this charting software in your hands, you're gonna wanna play around with a couple of these different functions like that. Uh, the neat thing about all this is you don't even have to do a lot of this analysis on your own. So watch this here. We can come in here. Let me delete all this here. We have automated tools that are built into our charting platform. That trend line, we have what's called our smart trend line tool. All we would have to do is come in here, 
to the beginning of this new trend, and it automatically draws our trend line. So as long as we're above this trend line, we're in the buy zone. Uh, we have also an auto Fibonacci tool. It's our smart Fibonacci tool. So I don't have to come in here to determine all these A and B boundaries. I simply come in here to the beginning of this new trend right here. And oops, I clicked on the wrong one. Sorry about that. Yeah. There's our low point, and then bam. It's going to quickly and accurately draw our Fibonacci's the whole way up here. So look what happened here. The market came up along our trend line, and eventually right here it broke below that trend line. So when it broke below this trend line, I was now looking for selling opportunities here. So let's go ahead and let's delete all this here. And what we would do is when it breaks and we're now looking at selling opportunities, I would come up here to the beginning of my new trend. I can draw my Fibonacci's coming from right there. And here is our current A to B boundary. So what I'm looking for right here, and if I come in here and draw that trend line, just like this. So as long as I'm below this trend line, I'm looking for selling opportunities. And so it came about like that. I can draw another trend line just like that. And I think that's where I'm set up. If I can draw another one right there. And we can extend this. I think this is my current one right there. Let's extend that. So uh, as we told, I mentioned before, in between this A and B boundary, we're looking for a high probability of a pullback. So here's what I'm looking for right here. I'm looking for the market to pull back to at least this first red retracement level. So I'm going to be looking for it to come up here. I'm going to be looking for a buying opportunity to get in. And I'm showing this on a two-hour time frame. What I would do is I'd probably go down to a 15-minute time frame or maybe a one-hour time frame to look for a buying opportunity to buy into the market. I'm going to look for it to come up here. I'll come up and probably bounce off of this trend line right here at the 382. And then what I'll be looking for is then some sort of indication, uh, so a candlestick formation, something to let me know to look to sell the market right there. So I'm kind of looking for a, right now a buying opportunity to buy into the market. Uh, let's just say I find a buying opportunity right here. If it comes up, that's about 71 pips up. And because if it comes up here, I'm going to be looking for it to come down here to my red extension. Remember, red goes to red. Just like that. So I'll be looking for it to come down here. And let's just say I were to find a selling opportunity up here. Uh, if it comes down here, uh, that's about 213 pips of opportunity here. So uh, right now, as you can see here, my stochastics are in the buy zone, so I'm just looking for that buying opportunity to buy in here. Uh, the only thing about our charting platform here, I kind of showed you some of the automatic features. Uh, we do also have, for my more advanced traders here, we do have a king's crown tool, head and shoulders tools. These are all automatically as well. Uh, the other neat thing about our trading software here uh, is we also have the ability to do trading right from the charts. You can actually attach your account right to the charts, and so let's just say I wanted to go ahead and buy into the market right here. All I'd have to do is simply come up here to trading, or I can simply just right-click, simply right-click on my charts and buy into the market. Oops. And I can set this all up right here, set my, my limits, my stops, everything right there, and I can place the trade right there. Now, the other neat thing about all this, I know some of you might be thinking, well, do we have to sit in front of our charts waiting for these moves to happen? Here's what we can do. If I wanted to, if I want to come in here, I can actually draw a counter trend line just like that. I'm like this a little bit of a different color. So when the market comes up, and if it breaks my counter trend line right here, and that's when I'd be looking to sell the market right there, here's what I can do. I can set this up to send me an alert. It can either be a visual alert here on the charts, or I can have it send me an email, or I can even have it send me a text alert here. So that's one of the neat things about our charting platform is that can send you these alerts so you don't have to be in front of your charts waiting for these opportunities to happen just like that. So I know I got a little bit fast here for a lot of you here. So I kind of give you a little bit of an overview, kind of showing you here a trade opportunity I'm looking at, kind of give you the, the idea why I'm looking at it. Hopefully you'll get an idea of uh, the whole basics, the, the analysis and basics behind this kind of opportunity here. Uh, this is a little bit more advanced. We kind of teach this in our full education. Just want to kind of show you some of the, the tools that are built into our charting platform here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you something that's even easier here. I'm going to show you something that's even easier that you can actually start doing right now. Uh, it's the London day bake break strategy here. So uh, this is something you don't have to know how to do Fibonacci's. You don't have to know about uh, support and resistance. You don't have to know about trend lines. It's going to answer each one of those three questions very simply for you here. So uh, the London breakout trading strategy, as I mentioned before, 
It's based off of these six currency pairs. Now, for those of you that may have missed it or if you want me to review, as you can see here, we have up in the upper left-hand corner, this is the Great British Pound New Zealand dollar, the Kiwi, uh, Great British Pound Australian dollar, the Aussie, Great British Pound Swiss franc, Great British Pound Japanese yen, Great British Pound US dollar, and the Great British Pound Canadian dollar. These are all on a one hour time frame. You probably see that right here. So if you're taking notes, now one of the things I want to point out to everybody here before we move forward, uh, the neat thing about all this is that uh, everything I'm showing you here, uh, you're going to get in a video. You'll get in a video where Josh will go step by step. He'll, he'll probably do this a little bit differently than what I'm showing. I'm going to show you my version, uh, but he'll actually show you his version of how to do this as well. Uh, so if you don't quite get this, I know some of you are taking some notes, don't worry. As part of this trial here, you're going to get this London Breakout Trading Strategy video where Josh will go step by step and show you this in detail. You can go back and review it as you're going along here. So just want to explain that to everybody here. So uh, let's go ahead, let's jump in right now. And one of the things I also want to point out to everybody here, so I'm actually just asked, what are these blocks up here at the top of my screen? And the other thing about our charting platform is that you can save, uh, for instance, right here I have this London Breakout tra Daybreak Trading Strategy. It's saved in what's called a workspace. I have different workspaces for all each of the different currencies pairs uh, that I trade here. Uh, the neat thing about these workspaces is that you can save them to the cloud. Uh, they're also saved to your computer. The neat thing about saving them to the cloud is that if you want to work on one computer, uh, and then maybe you want to go to the office or work on a different station, you can actually pull these up. You can open them right from the cloud. So they're cloud-based, you can save them here. The other thing about these workspaces, and that's another neat thing, uh, one of the free things I'm going to give you here today is this uh, London Daybreak Trading Strategy here, this workspace. Um, for those of you that take advantage of this trial of our charting software here today, I'm actually going to send this out to you. I'll send you this out so you can actually import this. You'll have these six currency pairs already that you can import into your charting platform so you can get started right away uh, with it here. But ba basically, if you want to get started without it, all you would simply do is you would come in here to charting, you can open up a new chart and you would select each of these six currency pairs on the one hour time frame. You can open it just like that here. Now somebody asked so just asked another question about the stocks. Yeah, our charting platform, it does work for stocks as well. Uh, we do treat we do teach uh, stock and options trading here. Uh, but for those who take advantage of our trial here, it's only going to be for the Forex market. I'll, show, I'll give you an 800 number, our customer service number, if you're interested, and see if we can get you the stock feed as well. Uh, and somebody was asking, do the Fibonacci's and all that work for stocks as well? Yeah, you can use the same things uh, for stocks as well as far as trading as that. And well, we can teach you that if you want to go through that education as well. So uh, but let's go ahead. Let's get started here. I only have a little bit more time left. Uh, so let's jump in. I'm going to show you this now. It's London Daybreak Trading Strategy. I'm going to utilize the uh, Great British Pound Canadian dollar currency pair because this has been not showing us some nice um, moves based off of this trading strategy here. So uh, if you were in the last investment uh, investor inspiration, I kind of showed you this. We'll bring this to the live market and I'll show you uh, some of the other trades that have happened uh, since that last one that was about a week or so ago. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's move in right now. Let's go ahead. Let's bring this down and let me quickly explain to you what we're looking at here. This is what we're calling our London Daybreak Trading Strategy. Let me explain to you why it's called the London Daybreak Trading Strategy. Uh, what we're looking for is we'll be looking for in this market between 2 o'clock a.m. Eastern Time and 5 o'clock a.m. Eastern Time. What we'll be looking for is the market to come either pull back and form its initial low for the day and then rally up or for it to rally up, form its high for the day and then pull back its initial high for the day. So uh, the reason we're looking for this here, we're looking for the high slash low for the morning between 2 a.m. and 5 a.m. Now the reason for this, let me quickly explain why we're looking for this. Uh, as I mentioned before, uh, there are three major trading sessions that happen in this market. You have the Asian trading session, uh, the London trading session, and you have the, the U.S. and North American trading session here. Uh, what is happening here is that you have the close of the London trade, I'm sorry, the close of the Asian trading session and the beginning, the opening of the London trading session here. So what we're looking for is the market to form its either its initial high or low for the morning between 2 a.m. and then 5 a.m. And then what we'll be looking for is this directional movement, either if it forms its low for it to rally up or if it forms its high to pull back in the opposite direction here. Now what we're also going to be looking for is around between 8 a.m. 
Eastern Time and uh, 2 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. We'll be looking for that opposite high or low for the day. Now, very simply, the reason for this is because you have the close of the London trading session and then you have the beginning of the U.S. trading session here. So we'll be looking for the market to then form its higher or low, opposite for higher or low, and then begin to move in the opposite direction here. So uh, what we have found, this directional movement here, on each of these six currency pairs, we have what's called the average daily trading range. On each one of these currency pairs, it's anywhere from around 50 pips on the low end to over 200 pips on the high end. So what we're looking for is each one of these currency pairs I'm going to show, I showed you here, we're looking for a minimum of 50 pips of directional movement in one way or the other to as much as over 200. But the trading strategy I'm going to show you here, and Josh is going to show you in that video, we're simply going after first base. We're going to show you how to go after 50 pips, and then I think in his videos he'll show you how to go after the more, how to go after larger uh, sizes as well as you're going through here. But our goal is to capture 50 pips per currency pair per day. Uh, once again, if you were trading a micro lot account, a micro lot account, those 50 pips would equal at uh, 10 cents per pip, that would equal about $5 in profit. Uh, if you're trading a mini lot account at uh, $1 per, per pip, uh, that means you'd be generating about 50, uh, 50 pips, that would equal about $50 at $1 per pip. Oops. And then we have our standard lot at $10 per pip. Those 50 pips would now be worth $500, just like that here. So just to kind of give you an idea for those of you, depending on what your trading account is, uh, if you're starting off with a micro lot, each one of these will get generate a $5 profit. Uh, with our mini lot, it would be a $50, about a $50 profit per currency pair, and then the standard lot, each 50 pips will be $500. So for standard lots is what we're looking for here, so I'll, I'll show you a mini lot and standard lot here So as we're going along just like that. Now, uh, one thing, actually somebody just asked a question here, why does this happen? Why are we looking for this directional movement? Uh, if you're taking notes, this is what you might want to write down. Uh, what we've found is it's been said that during the European market, they're processing the largest bulk of the Forex transactions. So what we're looking for during this period is the banks are processing their orders. This is going to provide a huge injection of volume and this directional movement. So I'm going to show you this trading strategy right now that's going to help us take advantage of this directional movement. So let's go ahead, let's bring this down here. And let me go ahead, let me delete some of this here, clean this up. And once again, my friends, you'll get Josh showing you how to do this as well in that, that video. Uh, so if you're not quite getting this, uh, he'll be able to explain it to you probably a little bit differently in a different style. I'm just going to give you a quick overview of it here. So what we're looking for uh, as part, once again, as the London day break, oops, day break strategy is going to be based off of the close of the 3 o'clock a.m. Eastern Time candle. So essentially what we're going to be looking for at the close of that 3 a.m. candle, and we're on a one-hour time frame, so basically at 4 o'clock, we're now going to be looking for that directional movement. Now, you know, somebody just asked why the 3 o'clock candle. Uh, once again, I think Josh explains that a little bit better. We just found that the 3 o'clock candle is the one that we find gives us directional movement. In fact, let me show you some examples here. Uh, going back here, this is on uh, August 10th right here, 3 o'clock a.m. candle, directional movement coming down. Here's the next 3 a.m. candle, 3 o'clock a.m. on the 11th that directional movement right now. Yeah, somebody said, actually, how much is that? That right there, that one there is about 156 pips of directional movement right here. Uh, this one right here, where's this one? Oops, that's 2 a.m. Here's 3 a.m. Not that much here. This one, we didn't get too much of a directional movement. There's only about 40 pips of movement here. Here's this one. Uh, that was about 115 pips. The next 3 a.m. candle, uh, 78 pips. Another little one right here, about 53 pips. Uh, this one right here was 135 pips, so I've uh, kind of shown you how this works. And once again, uh, we've just determined that the 3 o'clock a.m. candle is the one that we look for for this directional movement. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this example right here. Uh, the reason I'm using this one, I'll explain here in just some reason, a minute here why I'm using uh, August 19th. We'll bring it to the live market, but this is just a nice example showing you uh, how this actually works. Uh, so let's go ahead right here. This is the uh, 3 a.m. candle on August 19th. Uh, let's zoom in here. I'm going to zoom in here nice and tight so everybody can see this. 
and let's go over the trading strategy. Let me show you what we're going to use to determine how to get in and out of this market with the London Daybreak trading strategy. Now, first of all, what we're going to do at the close of that candle, we're going to come in here and we're going to have two pending orders. We're going to have one pending order that's going to be 10 pips above the high of this 3 a.m. candle. So we're going to come up here right about there. Yeah, and somebody's just asking, yeah, that candlestick wick right here, that is the high of that candle. Now, what this is here, this is going to be our entry buy. Oops. We place this in our broker's platform. Our entry buy is going to equal plus 10 pips above the high. So our entry buy is right there. So it's simply just a pending order. We're not in the market until the market comes up and triggers that. Now we're also going to have a pending order down here, five pips below this low. So we come in here, one, two, three, four, five right there. And this is going to be an entry sell. And that's going to equal minus five pips below the low. And once again, yeah, somebody's asking about the, yeah, the, the candlestick wick low, five pips below that low. In fact, I'm going to zoom in here just a little bit. I'm make this nice and big for everybody. I'm working on a very big monitor here, my friends. So I'm going to try to make this nice and big for everybody to see. There we go. So if you're taking notes, there we go, just like that here. Somebody just asked why 10 pips above 5 pips. Well, I think Josh goes into explaining that uh, in that video. I'm not going to go into explaining that right here. I think he goes a little bit more detail explaining that here. So uh, this is the beginning of it right here. Right now, we're going to be utilizing this to determine which direction the market's going. So let's go ahead and let's see what happens here. We're not in the market until one of our entry orders get targeted here. So we have one, two, three, four, Five hours later, bam, the market comes back, triggers our entry sell. So at this point right here, this entry sell, this has just become a market sell. Meaning that we believe the market's going to be going down, so we're going to be selling the market. We'll be shorting the market here. Now, what we're going to do, the first step is to come in here and cancel this opposite order. We believe that the market, based on it triggering this market sell, we're going to get that directional movement going down, coming down off of this here. So we don't want to be in the market buying, we want to be in it selling. So we cancel that opposite order just like that. So that answers question number one. If you remember, there's three questions. Number one, which direction is the market going? Well, based off of this, we now believe the market's going down. So we're selling the market. Now, we also need to determine where to get in. That's how we determine where to get in. We get triggered right there. We're now in the market selling it. Uh, we also need to determine where to get out. I'll explain that here in just a second. But uh, the next step of what we're going to need to do is we need to put in a stop loss. Some of you are just asking, well, what about a stop loss? Our stop loss when selling the market is going to be a little bit different than buying here. So this is our 3 a.m. candle right here. Let me change this to red. Our stop loss is going to be five pips above the high of that candle. So 55, so that's going to be right Right there, bam, so there's our stop loss right there. So uh, what that means is that the market were to go against us, we are risking, risking about 48 pips on this trade. Uh, so let's go ahead in here, let me put this out here. So stop, loss, and this is when selling the market. It's going to be a little bit different here when I show you a, a, a buying trade here. It's going to be plus five pips above the high. Now, what's a little bit different when buying and selling the market? I think Josh goes into a little bit more detail explaining uh, why we're doing this here. So there's our stop loss. So we have our entry. We have our protection. We're risking 48 pips on this trade. Now, uh, there's a couple different ways of determining what our target's going to be. Uh, as I mentioned before, first base is 50 pips. Uh, in this case here, we're risking about 48 pips on this trade. So our target, our target, which is also our limit, that we're going to set on here to get out of this trade, it can be one of two different things. It can either be a one-to-one -one risk, oops, one-to-one -one risk ratio, or a minimum of uh, plus 50 pips to get onto first base here. So in this case right here, uh, we're risking about 48. Uh, so we'd be going after that minimum of 50 pips. So all we would simply do is we'd come in here and we would set our limit at uh, 50 pips, which is right about 
there's a 1.6761 is our target right there. I'll make that, let's make that blue. There we go. So there's our entry. We believe the market's going down. Uh, we have our, our protection set here if the market were to go against us, and there's our target to get out. So very simply, the trading strategy's got to let us know where the market, give us that opinion where we believe the market's going to go with that directional movement, uh, where to get in and where to get out. So at this point right here, you set all this in your broker's platform, and you're good to go. Because I think somebody was just asking here, well, do we have to be up at 2 o'clock at night doing this? Well, when I start showing you the results of what you get on this, you can make that decision as to whether you want to get up or what you can do is you simply come in here, you can set this. At this point right here, uh, you can go to sleep because you're automatically going to get out of this trade one way or another. Whether the market's going to come down, hit your limit, and you'll be profitable, or it's going to go against you and take you out with your stop loss. At this point, if you wanted to go to bed, you'd be, you'd be okay doing that because you're set up. Uh, what happens, though, is one hour later, the market does, in fact, come down, hits our limits, and we're out of this trade. We just captured 50 pips on that trade right there. So uh, very quickly here. For those of you that were trading, once again, a mini lot account, you have made about $50, about $50 in profit in about uh, just a couple hours of doing this here. A standard lot, you have made about $500 at $10 per pip doing this here. So once again, you can make that decision as to whether you like to get up and be able to do this here. Those of you that are across the, the ocean here, uh, they're already in the London time zone, then uh, this would be nothing for you to be able to trade this during the day. But I know some, some of you asking, well, do we have to be up? Well, there's ways you can do this. You have to make those decisions as to what you'd want to do as far as trading this here. So uh, that trade is done. Now, for those of you wondering as far as going after more, uh, what we can do, in fact, I'm not sure, I think Josh might teach you in that video. At this point, if we want to go after additional pips, what we can do is we can either move our stop loss up to either break even maybe move it up to 20 pips, something like that, and uh, we would be able to lock in profits as we're going along just like that here. So that's how we go after more pips as we're going along. I'm just kind of showing you here how to get onto first base. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna show you an opportunity here uh, selling the market, and let's go ahead in here, and let me show you the opposite here. Let's go ahead, let's advance this now to the next, oops, uh, where's our next 3 a.m. candle? There's 2 a.m., and there we go. There's our next 3 a.m. candle, uh, same process. Same process of doing this here. I'll go nice and slow for everybody so you can write this down. At the close of that 3 a.m. candle, we're going to come in, we're going to set our two pending orders. We're going to come in here, we're going to set one pending order 10 pips above the high. So in this case, it's going to be right there. And we're going to set one five pips below the low. So 50. Uh, 45 right there. I'll go ahead and I'll type this out for everybody. Once again, our entry buy is going to equal plus 10 pips above. And then our entry sell is going to equal minus 5 pips below. Once again, both are pending orders. We're not in the market until we get triggered, either buying into the market or selling the market. So once again, that's going to help answer question number one, which direction we think that directional movement is going to go. Let's see what happens here. So bam, one hour later, the market rallies up, triggers our entry buy. So in this case right here, our entry buy just became a market buy. We're now in the market, buying into the market just like that. So that just answered question number one, which way do we think that directional movement is going to go? In this case here, we believe it's going up, so we're buying into the market. Now, first order of business, we come in here, cancel that opposite order, because so we don't want to sell the market. We believe that directional movement's going up. Uh, the next order of business is to come in here and to set a stop loss. Now, it's a little bit different here. If you're taking notes, here's what we're going to do. When we're buying the market, our stop loss is going to go right at the close, right, I'm sorry, at the bottom, of the low of that 3 a.m. candle. I'll type that out here. So stop, loss, and this is when buying. And once again, I think Josh is going to go into a little bit more details explain this here. It's going to go at the low of that 3 a.m. candle. So we have our protection set in place here. Uh, now we're going after our target. So let's come in here. What is our risk on this trade? Our risk on this trade, oops, let's come in here. There we go. So our risk on this trade is about 56 pips. So in this case right here, let's go ahead. As I mentioned before, our target, which once again is our limit, 
is either going to be a one-to-one -one risk ratio. So in this case, it would either be 56 pips, which is more than 50, or a min of plus 50 pips, just like that here. So in this case right here, we'll just go ahead, we'll do the one-to-one -one risk ratio. Uh, let me click off of that. So 56 pips. Ah. Ah, hold on one second. Let's, no, I don't want to do that. There we go. So 56 pips. It's going to be right about there. So uh, 1.6961. Cool. Uh, Frank was just asking about the charting software. Yeah, chart the, uh, uh, Frank, you'll, you'll get to try out the charting software as well. You'll get the video. Yeah, those of you that take advantage of the trial, you're going to actually get to use this charting platform as well. So if you've been asking about that, yeah, you'll definitely get the, to take this for a test drive as well. That's why I'm showing you some of the features of this so uh, you can actually hit the ground running right after the webinar of taking this and, and playing around with it here. So uh, once again, we have our entry, and we have, believe where the market's going. We believe it's going up. Uh, we have our profit, our, our, our protection set in place, and there's our target. All three questions are answered. Let's see what happens here. One hour later, two hours later, three, four, five, six hours later, it does in fact come up. Hits our target right there. So once again, we just captured another 50 pips on that trade right there. Yeah, a couple. Yeah, I got a couple of you saying that's great. Wow. Yeah. So. Once again, we'll teach you and show you how to do this here. And once again, you're not going to want to do this on each and every one of currency pairs each and every day. Uh, we can uh, show you how to do that as well, which ones to fine tune this to do this a little bit better here. But what I'm going to do right now, some of you ask some good questions. I'll hopefully I'll be able to answer them as we bring this to the live market. I just want to show you these two trades because uh, these are two nice ones, showing you the, nicely how this works out. Uh, let's clean this all up here and let's go ahead. Let's bring this here uh, to the live market. I'll show you some of the uh, other ones here. There was our 3 o'clock candle on the 23rd. Uh, we had about 68 pips of directional movement there, upward. Uh, here is on the 24th, there's our 3 a.m. candle. Uh, what do we have? We had about 118 pips of directional movement off of that one. Uh, here is the 25th. And here, I think this is the one, this is the one that someone was just asking about this. Do we keep holding, when do you, how long do you hold your trades? Uh, look what happens on this one. On this one, here's our 3 o'clock a.m. candle. Uh, we had a directional movement here, came down initially of about 30, uh, about 36 pips on the long end. Uh, here's what ended up happening here. Here's our next 3 a.m. candle. So this is one of the things, I think Josh might explain this as well. Uh, what you may want to do is you might hold your trade until the next 3 a.m. candle, or uh, he might go and explain to you a little bit differently here. But in this case right here, if we were to get in, uh, there's our 3 o'clock a.m. candle. I think we would have gotten out like probably right about there at the close of that candle. So we, we would have... Uh, made about five pips on this one, it looks like here. So a little five pip uh, winner right there. Or you could have just gone ahead and taken your 36 pips on that one. Let's go ahead, let's quickly bring this to the live market here. Uh, this one right here was a nice uh, 83 pips. We had uh, 50 pips. And I think we're coming up to the live market here very soon. There's another nice one right here of about 116 pips. Uh, this one right here was 71 pips, and I think it brings it up to last week. Oh, here's another really nice one right there. What was this one here? This one was about, wow, that just kept going up and up. That was 239 pips off of that one. Uh, this one, 124 pips. And, okay, so here's, yeah, some of you asking, well, does this win every time? In this case right here, we would have bought into the market right there. Uh, the market went up about... Uh, 39 pips. So in this one right here, we probably would have lost about, maybe we probably lost about 54 pips on that one. Uh, this one right here didn't quite go in our direction. It went down about 16 pips. Uh, we would have taken a loss of about probably 24 pips on that one. Uh, and here is uh, today. Here's the live market from today. And this one went down about uh, 91 pips on that one right there. So uh, not too bad. Yeah, the Great Push Pound has, has done a really good job as far as doing this here. And once again, you'll get the charting platform here today. You're going to get, uh, you'll, you will get this instructional video that Josh goes in a little more detail, I think, explaining this here, his, his, uh, the way his take on doing this trading strategy as well. Uh, and once again, yeah, somebody's asking me to kind of repeat those currency pairs here. Uh, yeah, let me pull that up one more time here, and I'll show you how you can get this for a free trial here today and those free bonuses. Uh, once again, it's the Great British Pound New Zealand dollar, uh, Great British Pound Australian dollar, 
Great British Pound Swiss Franc, Great British Pound Japanese Yen, Great British Pound US Dollar, Great British Pound Canadian Dollar. Now, uh, once again, for those of you that do take advantage of our trial here today, I will send you, I'll show you here how I can send you our London Daybreak uh, workspace here. You can actually import this into your charting platform, so you'll actually have this workspace ready to go. And I'll show you how you can get some templates as well uh, for free as part of this as well. Yeah, 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 everything I'm showing you here today, my friends, the, the London Breakout Trading Strategy, uh, the charting platform, you're going to get to take all this for a free trial here today. So yeah, that London Daybreak Breakout Trading Strategy, really nice here. Five times a week, it happens on each one of these currency pairs. That gives you 30 opportunities each and every week to take advantage of it. And like I said, we can teach you and find, show you how to fine tune this to show you which ones to take and which ones to avoid. In fact, in this case right here, uh, let me pull up that video. Uh, in this case right here, in this video, Josh shows you in this case right here, this would have been a no trade day. So he'll go and he'll get fine tune this a little bit more explaining which days you're going to take it, which days you're not going to want to take it as well here today. So uh, to wrap this up, uh, what I'm giving you here today, as I said, it's part of my Forex Starter Program here. You're going to get the, the charting platform to take it for a, for a free two-week test drive here. Uh, you'll get that uh, auto Fibonacci tool, everything I showed you here today, the London Breakout Trading Strategy. Uh, you'll get the London uh, Daybreak Strategy uh, workspace I just showed you, and I'll show you three bonuses uh, Josh is going to give you today for this as well. It's exclusive to this here today. So uh, it's going to give you exclusive access to all this here. Yeah, I didn't get a chance to show you here the auto trading. I'll show you here in just a second how to show uh, set up a demo trading account, but uh, some of you are asking how do we take this for that free 14-day uh, trial. So let me go ahead and let me get into that right now and explain how that's going to work here. Now, normally, uh, if you've been in some of our other webinars, uh, you know that the charting platform here is normally only available to our students. You'd have to become a student of Market Traders Institute uh, through one of our education programs. Uh, that would be the only way to access this here. And normally, we would charge about $249 a month uh, to get access to the charting platform. That doesn't include those training videos I showed you. I doesn't include the London Daybreak Trading Strategy that I showed you as well. So here's what we're going to do. As part of my Forex Starter program here today, we're going to allow you to take the one, this, uh, our charting software here for a free 14-day trial. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send out a link to everybody here in the, the, the chat box right now. You're going to click on that link and register for this here. I'll walk you through and show you how to do this here. So uh, as part of Investor Inspiration, you'll get to take the charting platform, that London Breakout Trading Strategy. I'll actually walk you through and show you everything you get for this 14-day trial uh, absolutely for free. Now, as part of Investor Inspiration as well, we're also going to lock you in for $59 a month after that here. So what you'll do is you'll take it for that 14-day trial. If there's something you want to continue with, you're not going to be paying the $249 a month. You don't have to become a student of Market Traders Institute. We'll get you locked in with our Investor Inspiration Special for $59 a month. And it's on a month-to-month -month basis here. Um, there's no long-term contracts or anything like that. It's basically on a month-to-month -month basis. Now, I'm going to show you here those free fast action bonuses. For those of you that take advantage of this right now, those of you that click on the link and register, I'm going to show you how you can get that London Daybreak Strategy workspace. Uh, we'll also show you, I'll show you right now how to get those three free templates uh, for Joshua to get started here uh, right now. Here, So you click on that link. I'm going to send out that link one more time to everybody here in the room. We send that out right now. Uh, if anybody's having any trouble with the link, please let me know. I will resend it for you. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through this and show you how to actually uh, register for it, how to actually get the free bonuses for this as well. Now, I'd explain how this is going to work here. What we're going to do is you'll register for this charting platform here. You'll click on the link. I'll show you how to I'll walk you through the process here. You get to take it for a 14-day test drive. Now, for any reason, as you're going through this, if you decide that you don't want to go beyond those 14 days, you simply click, cancel the trial subscription. Uh, you can either give us a phone call. I send us an email or I'll show you how you can actually uh, cancel your subscription from the back end portal and you will own nothing for this here. So it's 14 days, absolutely risk free, you won't be charged for anything. Now if you do choose to go beyond those 14 days, we will get you locked in for that special and um, once again that is on a month to month basis here. So let's go ahead, let's walk you through the process of getting started here today so you can literally start doing that London Daybreak trading strategy uh, starting tonight here today. So what you'll do is you'll click on that link, I just sent that out to everybody here. A couple of you are saying you didn't get the link. I'm going to send it out one more time. Uh, if you're having trouble with the link at all, uh, let me know and I'll help you through that here. So here's what you're going to do. Step number one, click on that link, get enrolled for this uh, Ultimate Charting Software 14-day trial. You're going to do that right now. It's only for this webinar here today. Uh, now, we, next thing you'll do is you'll go in. Uh, you'll probably get an email letting you know that you are, in fact, 
you're, uh, tr you're registered as part of the Investor Inspiration Special here for that 14-day trial. Uh, you'll probably get one email letting you know that, you, that you're confirmed for that. You'll get another email that's going to give you access to our back-end portal. That's where these training videos are. So the next step is when you get access to that training, the, 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 vid the back-end portal, I'm going to walk you through and show you how to access these training videos here. So you'll do, you can go ahead and do that today. Uh, right after, as soon as you get access to this, you can watch the, uh, the training session for the charting and for the London breakout. I'm also going to show you here in just a second how to set up a demo trading account or a live account if you want to go ahead live. Uh, I'm not allowed to uh, promote any certain brokers, but I currently right now I'm using FXCM, uh, FXCM.com. I'll walk you through and show you how to set that one up. Uh, there's also Forex.com. There's Oanda. Uh, you can simply do a Google search for Forex brokers. A lot of them, they offer free demo accounts. Now, uh, the other neat thing about this uh, free session here, the free trial, is this Friday. There's going to be a live training class here, so you'll get to get the charting platform in your hands, get all these training videos in your hands, take some notes as you're going along. You'll get into a live class on Friday where either myself or one of my colleagues uh, will be in a live session walking you through. We can answer any questions you might have about the charting platform as you're going along here. Uh, so what you do is you'll try the charting platform for 14 days. Uh, if you cancel within the 14-day trial period, you'll owe nothing here. So I, I hate to say this here, but if for some reason if you go through those 14 days you don't find the value in this, you can cancel. But the other neat thing about this is that it is a trial period. Even if you do find the value in this, but you simply just want to take it for that 14-day trial, cancel within the 14 days and you'll own nothing. Now if you continue past those 14 days, you'll get locked in with our Investor Inspiration Special at $59 a month. And once again, that is on a month-to-month -month basis. There is no long-term contract here. So I'm going to come back in here. Uh, I'm going to start walking you through the process of this here. So let's go ahead let's pull this back up. Uh, like I said, uh, when you read, in fact, actually, let me show you first step. Step number one is uh, when you click on that link, it's going to take you to this page right here. Uh, what you're simply do is going to go over everything I just showed you right here as part of this. You'll get the 14-day trial. Uh, what you'll do is you'll simply enter your information, your billing information. Uh, that's uh, if you go beyond those 14 days, you'll get locked in for the $59 a month as part of our. Uh, membership or to log into this uh, for investor inspiration uh, and then you'll like I said you'll probably receive an email letting you know that you are in fact registered for this and you'll get another email that's going to give you your login information that will allow you to log into this. This is the back end portal. Uh, you're going to get what's called our ultimate charting onboarding series here. These are video lessons from Joshua Martinez, the creator of this program here. He's going to walk you through showing you how to set up a demo account, how to enter in the market closeout, in detailed video lessons just like this here. There's those lessons uh, showing you how to navigate the charts, the toolbars, custom indicators and templates. Uh, in fact, actually right here, actually it's on another page. Uh, one of these here is to show you how to get the three free templates from here. to show you how to create your, your trading workspaces, uh, how to back up everything here, uh, deploy your systems, auto trading, uh, download different things just like that here. All these video lessons are in this here. Now, You'll also get access to that London Daybreak Trading Strategy video. That's Joshua Martinez himself taking you by the hand and showing you exactly how to do all this here. So all of this is included as part of the trial. You get access to all of this here. Uh, one thing you also want to explain to everybody here as far as canceling here. All right, actually, here, here's your, um, that live webinar that's on Friday. Uh, the, this live webinar Friday is going to be from 1030 to 1130. Uh, you can reserve your spot. You click on this. You can register for that live webinar as well. So take this training software for our, uh, a day or two, take it for a test drive, see if you have any questions on Friday, either myself or one of my colleagues will be in a live webinar uh, answering any questions and, and demoing and showing you how to actually use the software as you're going along. Now, uh, those who wonder as far as canceling here, let me click on this here. Uh, oops, let me log in. Uh, to cancel, I'm going to pull up our uh, customer service number if you want to cancel via the number uh, or the uh, the uh, email, or you can come in here. Uh, you simply can't click on this right here. Cancel my ultimate charting subscription. Uh, I, I don't have it on here, but you can simply cancel it right here, uh, and you won't be billed for that right there. Now, as far as setting up a demo account, uh, like I said, I use FXCM as my broker. If you want to go ahead and set up a demo account, you simply go to one of these brokers' websites. In this case, here with FXCM, click on Practice Account. Uh, come in here and you sign up for free. There, there's no, you don't have to provide any billing information for this. Uh, and you can sign up for a demo account. And they can walk you through the process getting that set up. Now, the neat thing about this here is that once you get this demo trading account set up, you can come in here. And uh, Joshua here, uh, right here, he can show you how to, to, to tie in your demo account into the charting software as well. So you can actually trade live 
from the charts as well. So I think I've kind of gone over everything here today. Let me go ahead. Uh, for those of you that this is our uh, customer service number, if you have any additional questions, I'm going to stick around here for just a little bit longer, probably about a minute after the webinar to try to answer any questions. If anybody has any questions here, uh, there's our customer service number. If you want to take a quick second to do a screenshot or write this down, uh, there's our customer service email right there. So I'll go ahead and leave this up for about 10 seconds here if you want to uh, do a screenshot or to write this down. Uh, th this information is also provided, I believe it is provided uh, in, uh, in this as well. Let's see if we come in here. Uh, let me see here, charting software. I don't know if it's here, but here, let me go ahead and pull that up one more time. Yeah, you might want to write this down so you have that information. Now, uh, for those of you, I got a couple of you, yeah, those of you that are registering for this, let me know that the email, uh, the uh, that link is working, that you are able to get that, that confirmation email. Uh, some of you said you aren't getting that link. I'm going to send it out into the chat box one more time here. I'll make sure everybody has the ability to click on that link so you can actually register for this. Now, uh, to get that free uh, London Daybreak strategy uh, workspace, uh, this workspace right here, I'll send this out, and Josh, in, in his video lessons, he can show you how to import this into So you have these six currency pairs right up here. Uh, this is my personal email address. Uh, for those of you that are taking advantage of this, this is a fast action bonus. Uh, after you register for this uh, charting trial here, send me an email. Let me know that you did, in fact, register for this, and I'll send you out that workspace uh, absolutely for free. So you'll have that uh, in uh, as part of your charting here, so you'll be able to have those six currency pairs already built into your charting software uh, just like that. Plus, you'll get three templates from Joshua as well uh, in those things. He'll be able to show you how to do that as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to stick around. I'm just about out of time right now. I think I'm just about out of time. Uh, yeah, I think I've gone uh, over my time. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave this up here on the screen. If anybody has any questions or uh, if you're having trouble accessing that link, uh, there we go. Uh, Jack says he has trouble accessing it here. Uh, yeah, those of you that are registering for this, just give me a quick shout out. Let me know that you did in fact get uh, the um, uh, the uh, confirmation email on that here. Uh, if anybody has any other questions here, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna wrap this up. I think I've gone over everything here today. I want to thank Investor Inspiration for allowing us to be a part of this here. Uh, once again, allowing us to provide this to you. Like I said, I kind of talk, call this my Forex Starter Kit. You're going to get to take the charting software for a trial. You'll get those London Daybreak strategy uh, videos, the charting videos, the, the, uh, the, the training videos for that. We'll send you out these free workspace. Everything gets started so you can literally start doing this tonight uh, when the London Daybreak training strategy happens tonight with your demo account. You can get, get set up with that as well. So on that note, my friends, uh, thank you again to Investor Inspiration for this. Uh, I'll stick around for about one more minute after the end of the webinar here if you have any questions. So uh, I see, yeah, great. So Michael says he's been able to register for this. Brandon got his. Uh, Ryan did as well. If anybody has any questions or if you have any trouble with that, just let me know. On that note, uh, thank you, everybody. I wish you the best. Uh, yeah, those of you that are, yeah, let me pull that back up one more time. Somebody were asking about the London Daybreak Trading Strategy Workspace. Uh, shoot me a quick email uh, after you uh, do, in fact, register for this here, and I'll send you out that uh, as a fast action bonus for registering here as part of the Investor Inspiration webinar. I'll send you that London Daybreak uh, Workspace. Uh, that's an exclusive.